这是孔乙己的第十六次演讲，这是他作为经典的一句话：不要问你能为你的国家做些什么，而要问你能为你的国家做些什么。嗯、We observe today not the victory of a party, but a celebration of freedom, symbolizing an end as well as beginning. Signifying with euro as well as challenge, for I have sworn before you and Almighty God the same solemn oath that our forebears respected nearly a century and three quarters ago. In your hands, my fellow citizens, with any mind, will rest our final success or failure of our nation. Since this country was founded, each generation of Americans has been summoned to give testimony to its national lo loyalty. The grace of young Americans we ask them hard to service surround the globe. Now the trumpet sounds us again, not as a call to bear arms, the arms we need, not as a call to battle, though in battle we are, but a call to bear the burden of the quiet struggle, year in and year out, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, the struggle against the <coughs> enemies of all human kind. Human being, tyranny, poverty, disease, and war itself. Can we forge against the enemies of this all humankind? Your sense now is then grasp that can assure a more fruitful life for all mankind. Will you join in that historic effort? In the long history of the world, only a few generations has been granted. The rule of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. I do not believe that any of us would exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we will bring into this endeavor. Will light the country and all who serve it, and the glow from that fire can surely light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you; ask what you can do for your country. My fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you; ask what we can do together for the freedom of man. Finally. Whether you are citizens of America or citizens of the world, ask of us the same high standard of sacrifice and and strength that which we ask of you, with the good conscience, our only sure reward, with the history and the final judge of our deeds. Let us go forth in the land we love, and we should ask in His blessing and His help. But knowing that here on earth, God's work must truly be their own.